Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rexfury here, and welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial. Today, we're going to be doing is going over flashlights that work in Game Maker Studio. Now, unlike my last flashlight tutorial where we use surfaces, which could only be used in Game Maker Pro, this tutorial is going to use sprites. Hence, it can be used in Game Maker Studio. And although that may sound and sort of look right here uh, a bit simple, you can actually get pretty advanced with it, and it's super easy to create, super easy to customize and just overall a pretty great flashlight system. So despite the fact that this is mainly geared toward GameMaker Lite users, um, if you're a GameMaker Pro user, you also might want to stick around and test it out for yourself. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and run the game. Just give you guys a little preview of how this all sort of comes together. All right, compiling, compiling, compiling. There we go. Alright, so basically what we have here is the blue square is our player, and we can move him along with the mouse just because I was a little too lazy to use directional movement. Uh, and then obviously we have the light that's encompassing him, and that little circle has an origin center to it that snaps to our player's origin, so wherever our player goes, the light follows. And it's sort of simple, you know, I made it just kind of transparent so you can see the background. You can, of course, change that later. But, you know, it's a nice little flashlight. But let's say you want to go further, right? You want to take it a little more advanced. Well, check this out. Ba bam There we go. We have a awesome looking light now. We went from plain to amazing. So, well, not amazing, but pretty, pretty darn cool, right? And this is super simple to do. It's just amazingly easy to pull off, and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do just that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead, exit out of this, head back into Game Maker, and see how this all works. So, the sprites here, we're going to head off, we're start off with the player sprites. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, my allergies are kind of acting up, so you have to excuse the occasional cough or maybe even sneeze, hopefully not. But uh, basically what we want is uh, in our player object is the origin to be centered, because wherever the origin is, that's where the light is going to snap to it. So if you had it over here, the light would appear from over there. All right. Now for the actual meat of the tutorial, the actual lights themselves. Well, for once, the t uh, actual sprites are the main portion of the tutorial. That's first. Alright, so <laughs> essentially how this works is my room that I have is 640 by 480. Those are the dimensions. And this is 840 by 680. Uh, you'll notice that I've added 200 to each one of these values. And the reason for that is I want to make it just a little bit bigger than my actual room so that wherever I go and the camera sort of follows me there, um, you won't see the room at any point because the sprite is just so big that it will always encompass your viewing area. All right, so how you do, uh, or what you do to get this sprite as big as it is with this circle perfectly centered is, let me show you a little trick. This is really cool. So because my player object is uh, 32 by 32 pixels, I'm going to go ahead and go 64 by 64 just to make sure that my uh, circle area encompasses my player. Okay, I'm going to go 250 uh, because 255 is the opacity like all the way down or all the way up. No, all the way down. So it's totally solid. So I want to go 250. So it's just sort of on the brink of, of being a little uh, little see-through. All right, then we're going to create a circle, color all those in. There we go. We got a nice 64 by 64 circle. But now I'm going to go ahead and go to Transform, Resize Canvas, and what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and change this to, let's see, 640, 740, 840 by 480, 580, 680. There we go. Our circle is now perfectly in the middle, and all we have to do, take our paintbrush, or paint bucket rather, there we go, boop, and there we go. We have a perfectly centered circle and this massive sprite exactly how we want it. Go ahead and make a set of that. Center it, obviously, and there we go. That is how we create our flashlight sprite. Pretty cool, huh? All right, now our player object, nothing special in here. As I said, I was just uh, too lazy to code in directional movement earlier, so I just went simple movement with the mouse. So that's not important. But what is important is the light object here. So what we're going to go and do is uh, have a step event and put in this simple code. We'll move this up a little bit there obj underscore light or whatever your ob or light object's name is dot x equals obj underscore player or whatever your player's object's name is dot x and same for y 
and the left and right is just so I could switch between sprites so I could show you guys you know the differences between sprites earlier and that is how you do it you are officially done with this tutorial besides obviously you just want to place your player somewhere in the room and place your light anywhere in the room as well just make sure the circle area is over him and you're done now really quickly just in case you guys are wondering how I got this awesome looking light thing I actually did it within Game Maker Pro however you can do this if you don't have Game Maker Pro. You can do this within like a free imaging uh, image editing program such as GIMP. Um, and all I did was add a simple gradient and then a nice little glow around the the circle. And then I made a smaller circle here so it looks like it's animated. So I'm going in and out. But uh, for those of you guys who are curious on how to do it in Game Maker Studio or Game Maker Pro, this is what you do. So you take your regular light that you had before, right? Go to images go to glow and I went ahead and chose the color white but you can choose whatever color you like and uh, opacity is set to 60 because I think it looks pretty decent thickness is 5 and then place inside image if you place it outside it'll look weird when we have the gradient so place it inside for now alright just wait for it to load here and there we go now we're gonna go do images gradient fill do the circle one down here keep it black and then white for the color 2 and then uncheck replace or else you get that and we're just going to simply hit OK, and we're going to do this two times. And there we go. So that, guys, is how to create that. And uh, overall, that's how to do the flashlight tutorial for Game Maker Lite using sprites. And uh, as I said, as you guys see, uh, it is a very simple tutorial, very easy to customize, and very uh, easy and simple to uh, fast to implement. So... With that, uh, this has been Rex for If you have any questions or comments that you'd like uh, to say about this tutorial, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you have any tutorials that you'd like to request, uh, feel free to also leave them in the comment section below. And as always, uh, until next time, till next video, this has been Rex Furry, and uh, hopefully I'll be better from those allergies next video. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you all later.